one of the things I've wanted to learn about is uh, you and your lovely wife, Jade, uh, have done the Richmond Run Fest, and you've really done something exciting and unique in the UK. Tell us a little bit about how you guys put this event together. Well, I mean, you know, like like all good things, okay, they were borrowed, borrowed and stolen from somewhere else. But um, but my uh, my background, I guess, um, being brought up with my old man, being the race director of London Marathon, um, just after university, I decided to um, rather than get a proper job, I could be a bum um, and tour tour the state. So I went out and and worked at every big race: Boulder, Peachtree. Um, obviously, fell in love with California. As um, and and um, and many women there, and um, I, I enjoyed doing some work work um, some work experience there, and um, fell in absolutely fell in love with rock and roll races, which was just so unique, um, so new to the sport at the time, mm-hmm. and um, so yeah, so that whole sort of different concept of yes, you know, let's be serious about running, let's be serious about um, um, you know you know, the actual distance and with elites. Um, but also let's look at a way of having a party after and that. So um, when I came back from um, America, um, I just met my uh, my a girlfriend at the time. And, um, and it, we were just out of 2012. And the question was, what are you going to do for, what is Richmond's uh, Olympic re- legacy? Richmond is in West London. Um, okay. On the Thames, we've got beautiful venues, greenery, greenest part, uh, borough of London. Um, so we were like, right, well, what's going to be the, what's going to be a, a, a Olympic legacy? This legacy word was massive around London and that. So yeah, so we were able to um, create a race. I was able to call up um, a botanical gardens called Kew Gardens. Um, I said, listen, I'd, how would you like Mo Farah running around your gardens? I went um, before all, all of this at university, I used to train with Mo and um, we were all part of the same athletics club growing up. And um, and yeah, so uh, I said, how would you like Mo doing that? And they were like, well, we, you don't know Mo. And I said, well, okay. If you Google Mo Farah, Tom Bedford, Kingston Bridge, you'll know that we got drunk one night and we ended up jumping off Kingston Bridge into the Thames. So um, that that at least proved that I, that I knew him. And then... Uh, and uh, yeah, we were able to create the rest is history. And we've, you know, we now last year until COVID came, um, we had 10,000 finishes. We have a, a 5K evening run that turns into a disco party, um, a, a flat 10K, um, a half and full marathon. So um, we're 10,000 10, plus now. Every runner gets a free beer after, which is a, a bit of a rock and roll legacy. Great medals sure. like rock and roll and, and great Nike t-shirts. So, um, so yeah, so we've done that in eight years now. And um, and this year has obviously been a little bit different, but we've, we, we were still able to get things going this year. And um, and yeah, but that's a that's pretty much a, a quick history of that. 